This is Hidden Killers Week in Review. A look back at the most prolific stories of the week. This is the Hidden Killers Podcast with Tony Bruschi. Featuring author, psychologist, and daily contributor, Siobhan Scott. Everyone is very shocked by the language that's used in, um, obviously, this was one of the more tamer ones about she waffled him. Uh, a lot of the other language uh, is very sexual in nature, um, yeah. and, and I don't know if we're going to play any of it today, but... Uh, Using language like this, um, just uh, and with your coworkers who are also law enforcement professionals and such, is this endemic of just these people see a lot of horrible things all the time, so they're a little more, I guess, it, you know, mentally mute to it because they 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 see it so much and it's just uh, it, it doesn't phase them much anymore, so they just end up using this. In, in crass conversation, not that that's an excuse by any means, right. but is that why we're, we're seeing things like this where we're kind of taken aback going, why would you describe something like that? Yeah. Gallo's humor definitely develops from people who are first re responders, whether it's cops, paramedics, people that work in emergency departments, they say these kind of things. Um, but I think we still need to hold them to a higher standard. Mm -hmm. and, and then there's the gender stuff, too. It was yep. really, really misogynistic and terrible. And, yep. and so that gives the sense that it's kind of this good old boys environment, yeah. which, again, we need to bust that. That that shouldn't be tolerated. Uh, without a doubt. I mean, it's gone to, to such an extreme uh, in this case. How do you think it affects... Um, the jury after they they've heard some of this, I mean, not only he waffled them or, or she waffled him, but, but more things like this, let's take a listen and we'll talk on the other side. And from all accounts, he didn't do a thing wrong. That was your decision 16 hours into the investigation, correct? Yes. And the other decision that you made and the other determination you came to was my client, Karen Reed was a whack job cunt, right? Yes. What else did you say in response to she's hot at least? Or she hot at least, question mark. Uh, so following that text, uh, I responded, yeah, she's a babe. Weird Fall River accent though. No ass. Yeah, she's a babe. Who's the she? Miss Reed. Weird Fall River accent, though. You talking about her, the way she talks? Uh, the accent. And no ass. Now you're talking about her body, her physique, correct? Yes. You think that's appropriate? Absolutely not. Then Bird chimes in with a little comedy. Ah, not newsworthy then, correct? Correct. In other words, well, she didn't have an ass. Nothing to see here, correct? Objection. <laughs> Sustained. And then 5051 says, oh, she's skating, right? Correct. <laughs> and what did you write after that? My response was zero chance she skated. <laughs> and then what did you write? She's fucked. Zero chance she skates. She's fucked, right? Correct. You decided on the 29th of January, 17 hours into this investigation, you decided individually, Trooper Proctor, you're not only gonna put it on the girl, you decided you're gonna make sure this is cut and dried and the way you're gonna do it is to make sure that she's fucked. That's what you were saying. Objection. All right, so that's sustained. You can, the content's fine. You have to ask it differently. 17 hours into this investigation, Trooper Proctor, you made the decision that you were going to put it on Miss Reed, didn't you? Put the case on Miss Reed. She was going to catch the case, correct? No, absolutely not. I mean, he directly contradicts himself right there. He's saying, yeah. you know, she, she's fucked. And then all of a sudden it's, uh, oh, absolutely not. No, I mean, he, yeah. he had his predetermined outcome. But did he need to? Did he need to add all these extra layers and, and tip the weights in one direction when, when there already was sufficient evidence to show right. that she likely hit him? Yeah.
Yeah. Yeah. It, it says so much about his personality, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, this is not, not a guy that should be doing this work. No. How do you think that played to the jury uh, with all that? Is this something that's going to end up uh, playing strong enough to get Karen Reed completely not guilty on this? Or, or are we thinking this is that there's still enough that shows vehicular manslaughter uh, but not necessarily, and I've said the whole time, I, I don't believe it's in murder by any means. It, yeah. It's just a horrible accident. Yeah. Yeah. If, if all I can say is if I were on the jury, I, I couldn't vote for murder on this. No. And and this just adds fuel to that. Yeah. It's going to be fascinating to watch. Um, I know there's, there's far more to come in, in this next week, and uh, we'll be looking at that shortly uh, with some more expert witnesses uh, talking about uh, the, the vehicle itself, uh, acceleration, some of their experts. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm curious to see uh, just how strong of a case the state actually has. And I'm also curious why they brought it with murder to this. Because exactly. it, it still doesn't exactly. make sense. I, yeah, I've wondered that from the beginning. It doesn't make sense. Sick of the ads? We are too. Start listening with no commercials now and get access to all of our episodes in advance of everyone else. Become a True Crime Today Premium Plus subscriber on Apple Podcasts. Search True Crime Today Premium Plus on Apple Podcasts or go to our podcast page and sign up now. True Crime Today Premium Plus. Sign up now.